Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new episode on Raspberry Projects and today we will be covering OpenWRT. So this OpenWRT is a, uh, what we can say, a forum which gives us open source uh, router firmware. So in a, in a uh, common sense we can say that it helps us to upgrade our routers. So that's it and uh, as it support uh, Raspberry Pi, I'm going to install OpenWRT on Raspberry Pi. Um, so just Raspberry, search Raspberry Pi and go for Raspberry Pi Foundation and then Raspberry Pi. So these are some images of Raspberry Pi and um, mine is Raspberry Pi 3 B+. So I'm going to uh, download this. Uh, so I'm not going to download this physically because I have already downloaded. Um, yeah, so that's it. And let's get our hands dirty. Okay, so as a first step, you have to install this OpenWRT firmware which we have already downloaded into a SD card. For that, connect your SD card to your PC. Uh, so you may use some SD card adapter or something for that purpose. Mm, yeah, so this is my... Wait a second. Yeah, this is my SD card uh, which is uh, H USB drive H. So first we have to format it thoroughly. I recommend you to use SD card formatter because it is the best and inbuilt formatter is not at all good for this purpose. So I have just formatted the SD card. Now we have to install OpenWRT firmware. For that I am using Win32 disk uh, which is an imaging software so I will be giving, I will be giving the description for that software in the description box below and select your OpenW write it down. So this is the step and we have almost uh, completed this installation of OpenWRT. And after writing, we just have to install sorry insert this SD card into Raspberry Pi. So let's get into it. The given picture is a illustration of my home network. Uh, so it seems it seems complicated but actually it is easy so i'm having a geo router uh, which have the dhcp server enabled so, and it got internet access so we have to convert uh, this wireless connection into a wired connection in order to feed into raspberry pi so that's why i'm using a wireless repeater uh, so actually it is a router and i have configured it into a repeater so i will get internet into raspberry pi so that's all about the raspberry pi so that's all about this illustration now let's get into configuring openwrt on raspberry pi now connect your raspberry pi to your pc so you can see here it is actually connected openwrt and go to any browser and type 192.168.1.1 so it is the default ip address and just login you don't have to enter password and go for interfaces and uh, go for edit change it to 1.12 uh, so any number is fine i'm using 12 and save and go for save and apply uh, but before that let's go for wireless and enable wi-fi i'm using openwrt test any name is fine but for my convenience i'm using a different name and uh, so this intrusion is WPA ESK mm, in that case and just apply save now in order to get back into this openwrt login portal you have to type 12 like 1.12 so that is new updated IP address and go for login okay uh, uh, now we have to connect uh, to our new open double uh, open Wi-Fi which haven't enabled so we have to enable this first I'm going to wireless and enable uh, yeah I hope it is working yeah it is working so we just have to enter its password uh, so as I have already entered it it is continuing automatically Anyway, uh, you just have to enter the password and it will automatically get connected. 
now we have to connect our wireless uh, repeater with raspberry pi in order to get internet into raspberry pi for that i'm using a ethernet cable so this is the illustration of that uh, configuration for networking uh, so i'm going to disconnect from my pc and i'm going to connect raspberry pi into wireless repeater okay done now uh, we have to just test whether the, the connection is working or connection is established or not so for that i'm going to ping uh, to my main router which is 192.158.1.1 unfortunately we are not getting the internet so let me take a look at it um, going for network interfaces edit yeah we have to edit yeah we have to configure our ip gateway uh, so which is 1.1 so i have configured it and save and apply yeah now it should work um let me try yeah we are getting ping so the connection is working fine but let me check we are getting internet or not uh, so we don't probably get internet see because we haven't configured one configuration so we uh, now we have to configure lan sorry wan so yeah bhp client with an zero create interface uh, no it is not working let me refresh it and then throw it yeah it is working uh, here everything is perfect 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 i'm going to select this as lan yeah then save save and apply Now let me try whether we are getting internet. We are not getting internet. Uh, so let me configure this DNS server 8.8.8.8 which is Google domain name server. Advanced, physical, server, everything fine. This CPS server, yeah. We have to disable it and that is important and that's why we are not getting internet. Now we should probably get internet. Let me check. Yeah, we are getting internet. Yeah, we are getting internet. So we have um, successfully configured everything, uh, but we have to just ping to uh, Google because in some cases static routing have to static routing has to be configured in order to get ping. So if we are getting ping, yeah, everything is set. Now let's install free radius service on this open router. Now in order to install Freer Radius, go for software and go for update list and it will take some time. By that time, let me go for OpenWRT Freer Radius, uh, which is a documentation provided by OpenWRT uh, regarding Freer Radius installation. Yeah, let me access it. Okay. So that updation has been completed. So we have before installing, we have to go for this documentation. It is a nice documentation and explained everything briefly and precisely. So in order to install 802.194 authentication, you you have to first install WPAD package and uninstall WPAD mini. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, search for WPAD in the filters. Yeah, we can see here that WPAD basic is installed and WPAD is not installed. So we have to uninstall, uh, before installing this, we have to uninstall uh, WPAD basic. So for that, um, first configure your uh, router with some password. Uh, let it be just password itself. Save. Now we have to access SSH cell. SSH cell. 
shell so uh, i'm using putty for accessing ssh shell uh, we just have to type our ip address of the raspberry pi router uh, login as root password as password users okay so we are in uh, now we have to go for installing free radius documentation sorry free radius package now we have to install wpad on this open wrt for that go for system software and go for install and type wpad and you can see here that wpad basic is installed so just remove it and install wpad So as we have installed WPAD package in OpenWRT, we have act activated the enterprise authentication system in OpenWRT. Uh, so before going into that uh, that part, I'm going to install free radius on OpenWRT. So for that, I'm going to the documentation and copying the first command line with the SOPKG update and pasting it on the command chain. Uh, so it is going to take some time and after completing it copy the nest command to and half about and half and paste that in command line paste that in command line okay so it is not possible to copy everything and uh, paste it same time so that's why we are Dividing, dividing it into uh, half so after compl completing this installation or double, uh, downloading and installation uh, just copy the rest of the part of uh, the second command copy it and after this installation has completed type opkg install So it will take some time and once it is finished we have installed free radius server sorry yeah free radius package on op so now we have to uh, configure wpa interface system for radius co configuration and authentication for that go for uh, wi-fi settings and wi-fi wireless security there should be some features like WPA EAP, but it is not seen here. So when you uh, when something like this happens to you, just reboot your Raspberry Pi. So I was thinking like there is uh, some mistake in my configuration. So I was going through so many lots of stuffs. Uh, so then I realized that you just have to reboot it, uh, reboot it. Then you will get uh, that function. Yeah then uh, i rebooted it and uh, gone over to inst uh, reinstall wpa wpad package and then again when i came, ba uh, came back to this wireless settings features yeah uh, wireless security it was here like wpa medium security and the uh, interface the medium security and strong security also so now we have to radius authentication we have to name configure radius authentication so for that we have to go back into our command line so in order to access openwrt shell we have to go for putty and enter raspberry pi ip address and login as root uh, password as password itself as i have mentioned earlier uh, then uh, go for cd slash etc uh, slash free radius so which is the uh, directory and go for clients.config uh, use uh, vim command to edit uh, clients.config and just copy this thing 
and uh, scroll down you have to use your keyboard and above this client localhost we have to paste it for that press i and uh, copy or paste whatever you want uh, so this ip address is 12 and in order to save just press escape colon w q explanation mark so that's how we have to save a win like this now uh, we have configured this client and go for modes.config sorry modes hyphen config then files and we can see uh, there is a file called authorized so use vim command to authorize mm, for this uh, authorization purpose i'm using this um, this command or this purpose i'm using this um, this command or this configuration and just like that press i and paste it and um, i'm going to add another user uh, instead of hello um yeah open wrt and instead of work say radius yeah whatever it is it is fine so in order to say just like as i may, uh, mentioned already escape colon w q hyphen now we have to restart three radius for that we can use the command we have provided in the documentation service uh, radius usd stop and start stop and start now we have uh, rebooted the prayer radius service and this is used to test if it works or not mm, no. it is not working i don't know why it is not working it should be uh, but it doesn't matter we can still try whether um, sorry we can still configure prayer radius authentication so i'm going to type uh, this local host id and password as testing123 so we don't have to configure this um, as we are hosting it in a local uh, server we just have to use the local ip and password as testing123 uh, yeah that's it we can save it so if you want to use another uh, server you have to use uh, the other server's ip address and the password as we have mentioned in the clients.config file so uh, now i have disconnected uh, my raspberry from my uh, wi-fi already using ethernet and you can see here that uh, openwrt test which, which is having a eap configuration is active now oh yeah we just have to wait a second it is connecting yeah it is working now we have to get into open wrt wi-fi so just click forget because we are having a cross sign connect i'm giving bob and password as hello so we have configured it already and just first i hope it works Yeah, we are successfully connected. Now I'm going to disconnect it from my PC and connecting it back into it from my PC and connecting it back into a wireless repeater. Yeah, something just like this, so that we will get internet to this OpenWRT uh, router and we will get internet uh, to my PC also. So everything is set. I'm going for Google. Yeah, it is working. We are getting the internet and everything is okay. We have successfully configured it. So, uh, guys, I find it very difficult to configure this OpenWRT for my project. So that's why I decided to show it to you or um, give it as an instruction. So I hope you like it. So show your support, post your comments and wait for another video. See you guys till next video.